Okay, this will show you what I would like for you all to go over on Monday with your um, session one of your Schoology training. So, um, of course, you can go in a little bit different direction if you would like to, but um, this is sort of the benchmark that we're expecting the teachers to be up to date with by the time that they're done with the meeting. Uh, now, you may have to wait a couple of minutes for everyone to get logged in. I would hope not, but um, if they do have any uh, trouble logging in, please tell them to reach out to me so I can recover their credentials. But at this point, they really should be comfortable with at least getting into the console. So um, once they're in, uh, what we really want to have them uh, explore a little bit more today is their courses. So if you direct them to courses and have them just pick a class for now. So I have two mock classes in here. So just have the teachers go into their courses and um, it's going to land them right on the home page of the course. Uh, the first thing you can tell them about is going over here to course options and actually if you hover over this um, you'll see that you can actually edit the picture so because this is an astronomy class if I wanted to put a picture of you know a planet or something here it could um, they don't have to edit the picture for the group uh, in fact you might want to wait to show them this till a little bit later in the session because they may be too distracted changing the picture um, underneath the picture there's a course options uh, and if you go to edit privacy slash course settings. Uh, this is where you can sort of uh, manipulate uh, some of the things the users in the course are able to do. So the things that are in here by default are probably you know what you would want uh, your students to have. So really you don't necessarily have to uh, you know, manipulate anything in here, but you can certainly have them open this up and just show them what it looks like. Uh, they may want to open up creating discussion posts to all of their students. Uh, that's really the only thing I can think of that they would allow the students maybe to manipulate in here unless they wanted them to be able to create files and links um, then they would select this instead of just course admins which by default all of the teachers who are um, you know teaching that course are the course admins um, so maybe if they had um, you know a project where each of the students had you know a folder and they had to contribute uh, links to it or something like that maybe they would want to open that up but for the most part you know just let them know this is here uh, if they want to and then um, that's pretty much it so if you click back up here you can get back to the home page of that course okay and what I really want the teachers to get across today or what I really want you to get across to them excuse me is the materials so right now I only added one material to the group uh, and that's always going to be the page that comes up by default when you click on the course so again if I click on the course the materials page is what comes up first okay which is different on the groups on the groups the updates page comes up first so remember the updates is sort of like the announcements uh, materials is what comes up first in in the course which is really that lends itself better to a course anyways because the students are most likely coming in here to access some materials much like they uh, do on much many of the teachers fusion pages so uh, what I want you to show the teachers is how to add materials uh, first of all have them add a folder to the courses um, that just says class materials or something like that and this is a place where they can just dump in their syllabus if they want to put their class expectations um, if the teachers have a popular website they like to use all year long they can put that in there so all they have to do is hit add folder they can pick whatever color they want they can title the folder they don't have to put a description if they don't want to uh, but the description is this gray font that comes up underneath which I kinda like that uh, kinda says you know what's a, you know a peak of what's in the folder so um, two ways you can add materials to the folder you can actually click inside of the folder and then you can click add materials and then add file and then you can browse for files this way or I'm just gonna X out of this I'm going to click back out to materials. If they accidentally add the file out here, so let me just add a file. Okay, so if I click add, all right, now if they added it out here and they really wanted it in there, it's as easy as clicking on this little cog, clicking move and then it says to which folder and right now I only have one folder so I'm going to click on class materials click move 
and it adds that file now into this folder. Now, same thing goes for if they want to delete, they click on the cog again. Okay, they can use this to rename, they can use this to delete. So I'm going to delete that file. We don't need that in there. All right, so I'm going to click back out to materials. You can show them how to add links as well. Probably the two most common things they're going to add is links and files. So you can show them how to add links as well. So you would click on, again, that same button in the drop down menu. Instead, you would do link and, you know, copy and paste the URL. So I would give them some time here uh, to add a couple folders. Maybe they want to add another folder for um, unit one, say basics of astronomy. Okay, so you can maybe let them add some folders. I recommend the, the teachers organizing it by unit or by chapter, um, but I know there are teachers who organize it by homework folder, PowerPoints folder, you know, notes folder. However the teachers want to do it obviously is up to them. Um, what is nice is if they set up, let's say, a class materials folder and put a couple of things in it, and those materials are the same for another course, they can actually come over here to this cog and do copy to courses and choose other courses in their list and hit copy folder, and it'll copy not only that folder but anything that's in it. So that's kind of nice. Also, whenever you're adding materials, it's the same thing. You can do, let's say we're adding a file. Let's just pick this picture. All right. You can also, at any point in time, do copy to courses here. So this would drop that file into both of those courses. So these are the things they really need to know, and I know this might seem pretty simple, and it only took us a couple minutes to go through together right now, uh, but they really need the time to practice it and practice moving stuff around uh, and start getting their classes organized and at least get some of those basic resources uh, into each of their courses. So if you have any questions, uh, please email me. Other than that, um, I know this was probably pretty simple for you guys. I just wanted you to have something uh, you know, to go over with them. I will talk to you later.